Hey guys, I just want to do a quick review of this Head Sport full face snorkeling mask. I've been here in Maui on vacation. My wife and I got a pair of these from the local Costco. Uh, we thought we'd try to upgrade our snorkel mask game while we were here, and these look pretty cool. We've been seeing people swim around with them, using them a lot. A lot of the rental places are using them. It's a totally different concept than your normal snorkel mask in that the whole thing goes over your whole face forehead to chin like it does the whole thing and it does that by having this extra seal here that goes over your nose and your mouth separating your eyes from uh, from your breathing area basically and the I think the, the concept there is that it keeps in theory it's supposed to keep your eye area from fogging up and in application it kind of works it's kind of a neat concept and just the the nature of the full face lens really opens up your vision compared to a traditional goggle you're seeing a lot more and it seems a lot clearer but there's a few issues with these the biggest issue is that because the snorkel apparatus is dependent on the pressure of the air within here you've got to breathe really hard to push air through the top here to get your old air out of the snorkel and to get new air in. You're doing a lot of heavy breathing when you're using this mask. Uh, I was only able to use it once or twice before I just gave up. I was like, I can't deal with how this is making me feel. I was out of breath. I had to come up for air and pull it off my face and catch my breath every so often. And it just really defeats the purpose. My wife, used hers almost exclusively this trip, but she was feeling sick and nauseous every time after using it. There's just not enough ventilation here. The air's not moving quick enough to get you the amount of air that you need to do some really active snorkeling. If you're just floating at the surface, slowly, you know, kicking around, it might be just fine. But if you are really kicking and chasing fish, and really putting your back into it, you're gonna get starved for oxygen with this thing. That's just how it is. I also had problems with the seal of it because there's more seal going around. Obviously, I have a problem area here for snorkeling. I've got a beard, uh, but even with a regular mask, I've got the mustache, and I have to press it down really hard to get the seal that I need to keep a regular mask watertight. This is more complicated around the chin for me, but strangely, I noticed myself getting a lot of leakage coming out of the top from the top seal here when I have my hair slicked back, press, it's only pressing against skin and I was getting leakage off of it. it. The water gathers up in the bottom here and eventually gets into your mouth and your nose and you're already having trouble breathing with this thing and it's hard to clear the water out. Um, I just feel like I can't recommend it. It must, it must work well for the rental places because people are using them. I just I just can't get into it as someone who's snorkeled basically my whole life. It's just more trouble than it's worth. So if you're gonna buy one, maybe it'll fit your face a lot better than it fit mine. It seemed, the seal seemed to be really good on my wife's. She has the right face shape for the seal. They come in two different sizes and it really just all comes down to the shape of the O-ring inside. Hers is smaller and the O-ring comes up higher. Um, I'd say buy them somewhere you can return them if you're curious because it's a, it's a little bit of a crapshoot if this is going to work for your face if you're going to be fine with the amount of air that you get through this it's no fun coming out of the water and feeling nauseous and dizzy because you didn't get enough air alright let me know what you think in the comments later guys